Well, our foreign affairs correspondent has been reporting live from the war zone. Let's take a look at some of his ground reports. Behind me, a tank from the Israeli army with the Israeli flag atop. And this was deployed on the front line position and now it is coming back uh, to the respective location. A lot of dozens of tank and armor vehicles are lined up right now which are going back to their position. And these were uh, deployed on the counter offensive the enthusiasm and uh, the thrill of war is very much here. But for the cause of eliminating entire Hamas network that has been perpetrating a lot of terrorist attack in the past also and now uh, the, 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 the Israeli government has thought that once and for all they will eliminate the entire uh, establishment, infrastructure, nexus, individual, everyone who is associated with Hamas or who has been supporting, aiding, abetting or in any way trying to be associated with Hamas uh, militia or the terrorist organization. So this has been the stand of the Israeli government and uh, with all the kind of reinforcement that is being sent on the borders along Gaza Strait, uh, that that is the kind of offensive, that is the kind of preparation that the Israeli army has been preparing for a very long time now. And these uh, will continue to go on. Sources also tell us that about two to three months could be uh, the, the, the situation that could remain in along the border. Uh, probably because the, the Israeli army uh, does want to invade, does want to uh, go ahead with their territorial fight against the, the Hamas terrorists who have been hiding along uh, the Gaza in several quarters, several uh, residential co buildings. I'm standing right now with war zone which is not very far from Gaza and you can see behind me uh, a lot of tanks that are lined up uh, which are going back to their uh, locations and they were deployed in uh, at the front line for a very long time for three four days we have been saying that these tanks were present they were firing the target and locating uh, or targeting the hamas location in gaza and now they, some of them have been going back to their position uh, we have seen uh, visuals of tanks lined up across the street which is like about few dozens of tanks and other armored vehicles which are Coming from the front line position, we have been seeing how uh, incessantly they have been targeting the position along Gaza Strait, targeting Hamas location and militant hideouts. Uh, how kind of military offensive, how, what kind of uh, you know ground operation Israel is planning, that still remains to be seen. But we have seen that Hamas locations were targeted by aerial strikes earlier. Several thousand tons of ammunition have been dropped on Gaza. Several hundred civilians have also been killed. Israeli army claims that hundreds of Hamas terrorists, their headquarters, their senior commanders, they have been killed also in the attack that Israeli Air Force have been doing. These tanks, which have been lined up along the Gaza Strait, about two to three kilometers from uh, where we are, have been targeting all those positions and now they are coming back. So this is the kind of military offensive or the ground operation that Israeli army is conducting right now. I still had the, in my mind a, a crazy idea that we will be able to help them. I'm a mother, that's what I do. I rescue my kids, that's my responsibility. But it wasn't possible and I was on the phone with her and I knew I was lying. In, in one minute I knew I was lying that we cannot help her. So I decided just to talk to her and make sure she, she knows she's loved. So, if this will be the last words she heard, she's hearing it will be a love words, telling her how much I love her, how much we all love her, how much we want her back home, and we will go to the coffee shop that <coughs> shop that we've been a few days ago. Hamas is ISIS, Hamas is Daesh, Hamas don't care about people's life. They care about misery of their own people. They don't care about the Palestinian people. All they wish is to kill. It's Israelis first at their border, and next it's other places in the world. They believe, they don't believe in anything in my opinion. It's just an excuse to, to, to act as a murderer, to run in the streets as monsters. And we call you people of India and your government to support Israel. We're strong, we will win this fight, 
the international support is so important to us to to get our people back from Gaza, to get our homes safe again. It will take years to to wake up from this. Some of the things we need to do moving forward, including practical ideas on getting assistance to Palestinians in Gaza who are in need, uh, but also uh, good and important conversations about the future and where we hope ultimately together we can, we can bring this in a much more positive way. In terms of the conference that Egypt is, is, is putting forward, um, look, we think these kinds of initiatives are good, are, are good ideas. Anything that can look in, in practical ways at how we can uh, help get assistance to uh, uh, the Palestinians who need it, uh, that can uh, look at ways to ensure that this conflict doesn't spread, uh, that can look to the future as well, um, I think is a positive thing. And what's very clear is this. There are two very different visions for the future and what the Middle East can and should be. Hamas are trying to prevent people leaving northern Gaza, and that is the point. Okay. And Let so, me. look, we do want, of course, we want to minimize uh, Palestinian casualties. We want to minimize uh, Israeli casualties. We want uh, everybody to respect civilians. But the real clear distinction is Israel are trying to get civilians out of danger. Hamas are trying to put civilians into danger. And that is a fundamental difference between the two.